What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the studio. Today I'm going to be touching base on some things not to do with Amazon advertising. Let's get to it. super important. It's one of the things we talk about with brands all the time. Today we're going to talk about some of the things not to do. I think the number one thing to not do is to not be patient. So whenever you're running ads, there's a ton of learning, there's a ton of data to take in. And whenever you're first getting started, this really is a learning process. You can't think about being in growth mode and in maintenance or profitability mode at the same time. So one thing that you're doing whenever you're getting started, you're getting into Amazon advertising is make sure you have patience. Uh, don't be too quick to jump and make changes based on five clicks or 10 clicks. Make sure enough data is coming in that the data makes sense and it's, it's actionable data that you can make changes on. So we've talked about not being patient enough. Number two, as I think that people should avoid is to not have enough different ACOS goals. And what, do you, what does that mean? What I mean is, you might say that we need to have 20% ACOS, which is advertising cost of sale on Amazon for our products in order to be profitable. But what if you're launching a new product? What if you have another product that has a different profit margin than the other products? Uh, what if you have some slow moving products that are in excess or like are incurring storage fees on Amazon and you need to push these? If you continue to stick to that 20% ACOS goal, uh, you're going to be disappointed across the board. You're not going to not going to get the results you want. So think about having different ACOS goals based on what you're trying to do. Um, one, one example would be, let's say you're, you're bidding on your branded terms, and let's say you're Adidas in this example. It might be uh, invaluable for you to always come up whenever someone searches Adidas on Amazon, and it doesn't matter what the ACOS goal is. So that might be 100% ACOS, and you're perfectly okay with that. Let's say you're launching a new product, and you know that in order to get the data that we talked about in step one by being patient, you need to spend a lot to get all that data in quickly. Remember that you can have different ACOS goals and different targets for different products at different times in your business. Another main thing that people don't do enough of that they should and they avoid is dissecting your automatic campaigns. Make sure you're doing this. Not enough people do. Um, you can get to your automatic reports on, on Amazon and go 30, 60, 90 days back. And the automatic reports is where you can see what other ASINs you're showing up on, you can also see what customer search terms uh, people are searching that then match with your product descriptions and your SEO and your listings. This is a huge opportunity to build out the rest of your campaigns and allow people to just turn on the automatic campaigns, let them do their thing, uh, and never analyze them. There's also negative keywords, lots of value in these. Uh, make sure you're dissecting them. Enough people do not. Another thing to avoid is poor keyword selection. Um, a lot of times, you know, you don't know anything about advertising, you're coming in, you're like, I want to rank for hats, uh, or I want to rank for blue hats, and, and while that might be a good keyword for your product, um, you need to think about some of these, whether they might be specific and they bring sales, uh, overall they're not good for your platform. So there's all different things that go into choosing good keywords and bad keywords, and Andrew, what does a poor keyword mean? Um, but you're looking at click-through rate, you're looking at conversion rate, you're looking at ACOS, these are all measurable things on the platform. Uh, and don't stick to keywords that don't work for you. Continue to dissect those automatic campaigns like we just talked about, to glean new keywords, look at competitors' listings for new keywords, keep trying to build out and build out your keyword banks and finding those keywords that work for you, that are good for your products in the long run. The last one I want to talk about is something new that I've been uh, incorporating the way I work with brands and, and on advertising. And too many people are thinking about this Amazon A cost. This is something that only Amazon has made up. It's called advertising cost of sale. And what that means is, you know, you spend a dollar to make 10, that's a 10% A cost. And that makes sense, but what they're not really taking into effect is or in, into account is that um, advertising on Amazon is a holistic thing. What you spend in advertising and keywords and sales on this side directly plays a part in your organic sales on Amazon. What I mean by that is everything plays a part into everything on Amazon. So it's not just the direct spend in advertising that results in sales, 
It's the direct spend here that also helps the organic sales and your keyword ranking and everything like that. So what we're naming that new principle, um, I just came back from a conference in Vegas called The Prosper Show and they were talking about it a lot there and I really believe in it as well coming back. It's, it's called tacos, okay? So don't laugh, what it means is just total, your total sales by the ACoS. And so this is, a, this is really a good way if you're struggling to find that ACoS that's healthy for your products to think about it holistically take the, the amount you're spending on a monthly basis by the total amount that your account's bringing in uh, and look at that number. And while it cost matters, think about the big picture, think about how that advertising spend is affecting the whole thing, think about tacos uh, whenever you're looking at your advertising program instead of being so, uh, so focused in, on the small things and think about the big picture on Amazon. <laughs> Thanks for watching what not to do when it comes to Amazon advertising. Subscribe, add your comments below, talk soon.